What up, what up? Welcome to my channel where we're doing music covers, original music, album reviews, song reviews, reactions, tier lists, a little social commentary here and there, whatever the day calls for. If you like what you see here, please subscribe to the channel. If you have content on here, I will subscribe to you as well. I am all about supporting up-and-comers on here. We are doing a first-time-ever listen to the band Silent Planet. I've heard so many good things about this band, and they've just generally been talked about so much that they have piqued my interest, and they just have so happened to have dropped a new song a couple days ago called Antimatter. This will be like the fourth or fifth time that I'm experiencing a band for the first time here with you guys, and from what I can recall, that this has always been a ton of fun, and I've found out about some great stuff. Uh, the first time I ever heard Sleep Token was here. The first time I ever heard Dayseeker was on here, and the first time I ever heard Shadow of Intent was on here. Man, did they blow me away, and I am really ready for another new song to hear from those guys. Um, so I don't know anything about these guys. Uh, no preconceived ideas of what they might sound like. No idea what to expect. We're just going into this blind, guys. So here is Silent Planet with the track Antimatter. I'm excited for this. Let's get into it.
anybody who watches my content can pretty much figure out at this point that I am not the kind of person that pretends to like everything just for like clicks and praise and, and stuff like that. And at the same time, I'm also not the kind of commentator that nitpicks and expects every single thing I listen to to be like amazing. And I don't expect everything to be super technical. You know, like I, I, I do my best to judge everything on its merits and also factor in growing room when I listen to a song for the first time. But this did nothing for me, dude. This did nothing for me at all. And I really didn't like the video. And I am all about a tasteful integration of metalcore and pop music. But this to me just seemed like a really derivative example of metalcore and pop music with the metalcore not even barely being there and when it is i mean it's just so unimaginative like i can't imagine having this amazing opportunity to express yourself musically and have this huge platform where people are going to hear you and you have fans and you can get out everything you want to say as an aspiring musician myself and just do this like I said, I'm I'm very new to this band. In fact, I know nothing about this band. This is the first time I'm ever hearing this band. And if they have better stuff than this, or if this is just some kind of like radio-friendly dud that they're doing, let me know and and give me better songs than this to check out. Because like I I just did a reaction to the new Ghost Inside song. I I love the Ghost Inside. I'm a longtime fan of theirs, but they did like this whole serious octane made for radio barely substantive at all kind of song with with their last one and i'd rather hear that than this this sounds like a pop band with metalcore arbitrarily thrown in every here and there that doesn't have anything to say you know with everything that i've heard about this band and all the praise and and talk I've seen about this band, I, I was expecting so much more than this. And they could have given me half of what I expected, and I still would have been like kind of intrigued. I mean, this did nothing for me, man. Nothing for me at all. This was so just eh. I think the lowest I've ever rated anything on this channel was the Abysmal Glitch by Parkway Drive. I don't want to do him that dirty. I, I think I gave Glitch a 2 out of 10. I don't want to do him that dirty. I'll give it like a 3 out of 10. I mean, this is not like uh, pushing the boundaries of metalcore or uh, being ambitious. If this was going to be set as some standard of stretching the boundaries of metalcore, I can see a band like Between the Barrier to me being pissed as fuck, dude. This is just doing the lowest tier version of what so many other bands are doing that are making these tracks just to be on like serious radio. I can remember the structural pieces of this song that I didn't like, but as far as the hook, whatever it was like the vocal, like it's completely lost on me already. I will never listen to this again. Okay. But I don't like this song. I don't want to say that I don't like this band because I don't know anything about this band. So if this is like some kind of dud within a discography of a band that has made some amazing stuff in the past and has the potential to make really good stuff in the future, I mean, I'm going to put it on you guys. Give me a reason to give a shit about this band because this ain't it. I'm sorry. So that is my thoughts on Silent Planet's Antimatter. And that's all I really got to say about this one, guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.